Welcome back. Throughout the coronavirus pandemic, the West Virginia National Guard has been front and center helping with testing, food distribution, and so much more. This weekend, a West Virginia National Guardsman will be remembered for his sacrifices during a different emergency. West Virginia Tonight reporter Justin McLennan has the story of Gene Vance Jr. Staff Sergeant Gene Vance Jr. was a student at West Virginia University and was set to go on his honeymoon when the September 11th attacks rocked the country. Vance's National Guard unit, the 2nd Battalion, 19th Special Forces, was activated, and he soon found himself in Afghanistan, where his Persian language, cryptology, and Special Forces skills made him very valuable. On May 19, 2002, Vance was shot on the battlefield, becoming the first National Guardsman to be killed in direct action since Vietnam and the first West Virginia Guardsman to die in battle since World War II. Gene's life was tragically cut short, but he died a hero, defending our country and the freedoms we hold so dear. His legacy lives on not only in the lives he touched, but also in the support he provides veterans and their families today in the Gene Vance Jr. Foundation. Since 2012, that foundation has honored his life through a Gene Vance Jr. Day ceremony in Morgantown. The ninth annual event was scheduled for Saturday in conjunction with Armed Forces Day. Organizers quickly pivoted, turning the ceremony into a virtual event. It's my honor to be asked to speak again this year in recognition of the ninth annual Gene Vance Day in Morgantown. While we cannot come together this year to celebrate Gene's life and remember his sacrifice, I believe it's important that we do the things to commemorate these tremendous individuals. Saturday's event will feature many influential politicians, military, education, and religious leaders, along with musical performances from well-known various groups and artists. The ceremony can be seen on your local station's website on Saturday. Reporting for West Virginia Tonight in Clarksburg, I'm Justin McLennan.